John. We're standing in front of one of your best known pieces, the Monument to the Women of World War II, which I know was unveiled by the Queen in I think, 2005. So, and it's, it stands in Whitehall near the Cenotaph. Can you tell us a little bit about, about the monument? Well, the brief for the monument, there were, I think, six of us competing for the site, and for, the, for the job. The brief said, something is required to celebrate the activities of all women right. in World War II. Oh, yeah. It's a hell of a big brief. Yes, and yes. I only used two or three of them. And uh, I came up with this idea when I, thumbing through photographs, saw a photograph of of a, 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 a clothes hanging in the entrance to a dance. Right, yes. And you could tell who was in there. Yes. So I thought that's the solution to this because the brief also said no single person can be celebrated right. because it has to yeah. be all women. Um, so I realised that if I got the uniforms and got them correct according to the generic cloth and all that kind of stuff. I could I could hint at who all the women were yes. uh, represented by this. Yes. Um, and they subsequently took a long while to convince people that, that was right because people just thought it was clothes hanging on the wall. Um, it isn't, they're not they they are they're fixed to the wall but they're not they don't have hangers, they don't, they're just there. And uh, it was a pleasure to work on and to research. Um, can, you, can you tell us about some of the individual ones? Well, I could tell you about one of the individual ones, which is this one here. The hat is based on the fact that the Queen drove a, 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 a vehicle in, in the ATS. Yes. And you could identify a driver by the strap going over the top of the hat. Oh. So when they came into the places that were sentry and so on, they were immediately recognised. Right. Because normally they wore it under the chin. Right. Um, and when she unveiled it, she said, oh, I remember that. Oh my goodness. Um, so that, that was intrig yeah. intriguing. Um, ladies who worked in canteens and worked in uh, munitions, that's represented by these. The overcoats are generic, they all have similar overcoats. Yeah. And, um, if you, on the, the actual memorial, if you take your binoculars, you can read the badges. And oh, really? Oh, fantastic. And, and what material is it? They're bronze, these are bronze, each one is nine feet high, and they're nine feet off the ground, um, so that when they now gather for the 11th, uh, November the 11th, um, these are always, the women are always above the crowd, uh -huh. looking down on these ones. Excellent. And, uh, and it's yeah. granite, isn't it? Is it no. They, what's, what, what's, what's the stone that they're on? Or is it all they're, bronze? No, it's all bronze. It's all bronze, but All right. of this is, is bronze with stainless steel inside. Right, gosh. And, uh, so it's quite formidable. Yes. Um, it's 23 feet high and weighs 23 tonnes. Right. So it's quite a nice little job.